Hi and welcome to this video showcase for our 2014 BMW 330D. So this car finished in sapphire black. This is a metallic uh, black colour, absolutely beautiful, especially in this uh, in this sunlight. Uh, the car's been upgraded with the M Sport Plus package, uh, which gives you the uh, Xenon headlights at the front. Uh, these also have the uh, Angel Eye LEDs. Uh, further enhanced with the 19-inch alloy wheels. We've just recently had these refurbished uh, and painted in a sort of smoked grey colour. Looks really great against the um, against the black paint. Um, also, you have the upgraded brake calipers with the M Sport braking system with the calipers painted in blue. The high gloss shadow line which runs all the way along the side of the car here um, rather than being the, uh, the sort of chrome finish it just sort of helps with the kind of sporty appearance to it um, and then also privacy glass from the factory at, uh, from the B pillar post backwards um, and including the, uh, the boot area as well. So yeah absolutely stunning car really really beautiful black really suits these cars. Um, Car's done. Just coming up to sixty thousand. Sorry, just over sixty thousand miles. Uh, the condition is extremely good. There are obviously going to be a few stone chips and, and bits and pieces like that. Being a, a black car, uh, and also having done sixty thousand miles, there's nothing excessive really to show you. Um, there's no sort of large chunks out of the paint or anything like that. Um, it really is just the odd sort of small um, stone chip. Like I said, unfortunately, it's unavoidable. Um, just because other garages may not mention the fact that cars have them doesn't mean that they're not there. Um, but yeah, they, they're all. There's a you know they're, they're this sort of size. Um, um, and like I said, certainly not excessive at all. Uh, just coming down the passenger side, there's no dents or, or uh, scrapes or marks or anything like that to show you. Um, Bodywork really has been well looked after, we've just had it fully detailed. Around to the driver's side, there's an ever such a very small, I think you just see the little scratch just there on the side. Uh, we'll try and get that removed with a bit more polish. Uh, for you, but I think that's pretty much the main sort of mark other than just a couple of tiny little chips on the on the door edges um, and just very small sort of tiny scratches like that which actually you can barely see. I'm just being extremely picky and wanting to show you absolutely everything. Uh, back bumper's in very good condition. A couple of very small sort of chip marks just on the the edge there. These are water marks, um, but certainly nothing excessive at all. Uh, the nice thing on these touring models is that the back window opens independently so you can put your shopping in through the back and then we also have an electric tailgate as well for opening and closing this can be controlled by the key or from the back or from a button on the inside boot area all in lovely condition we have the load area fixing kit that clicks into these um, these spots here um, yeah very very nicely finished there's uh, hardly any signs of any wear on, on the loading strip here all beautifully finished just have a look through into the back leather all in absolutely beautiful condition really no signs of wear at all uh, doesn't look like the back seats have really been used that much we also have the uh, folding rear headrests uh, this is actually quite useful for visibility and things like that. Um, and then we also have a 40-40-20 split so that you can put the centre seat down completely flat. Round to the front, again, same, all beautifully well cared for. Driver's seat, normally you'd see sort of signs of wear on the driver's bolster. There's uh, no such thing here. Um, all in beautiful condition. All the dashboard touch points and door cards 
all in very nice condition you've got sort of stitching across there um, but uh, yeah absolutely no damage at all and then across the main dashboard and again all completely free of marks all being really beautifully kept we'll jump in the car in a second and just show you some of the controls So the first bit of specification to point out is the full black panel display, uh, which is an additional sort of digital part of the dashboard. If you don't have the professional satellite navigation or you haven't specified the black panel display, then you just have standard gauges here, whereas um, this is a, a far nicer system, displays a lot more information uh, through the onboard computer that you can cycle through uh, and also sort of reflects any different driving modes that you've got as well. So quite a nice feature to have actually, um, and you have this sort of digital uh, gauge there for your fuel economy and everything like that. Uh, while we're here we can see the mileage 60,422 um, moving across to here so this is the uh, the full screen widescreen satellite navigation this is the sort of top of the range professional media system that they uh, that they offered at the time um, if you don't have this one then the, the screen sort of uh, aperture is about the same sort of size um, but the but the screen itself is a lot smaller um, and the, uh, the so you, you, you lose out on quite a few of the uh, the additional features um, so just running through the media stuff first uh, we have digital radio, come through to the main media settings and we have a DVD player, this, this screen here basically with a, a DVD in the, the slot just down here uh, will play DVDs on the full screen. You also have music collection which is an onboard hard drive for the car, uh, you can just download all your music from CD or from an external device and store it within the vehicle. Um, and then external devices you have connections here for the um, auxiliary socket, for Bluetooth, um, for the telephone sort of connection uh, pad that's in the uh, in the armrest um, or via USB as well. So those connections are all in the um, front centre armrest down here. Um, the best one to use is, is Bluetooth and it's a common misconception actually that if you have Bluetooth uh, telephone connection that you also have Bluetooth wireless streaming uh, for media settings but that's not actually the case and you must uh, specify enhanced Bluetooth which this car has got so it just means that without having to connect any cables to your phone you can just stream music, stream podcasts uh, and things like that directly onto the main system so quite a nice feature. Um, rest of the uh, the media package obviously we have the the bluetooth telephony um please ignore the um, the screen that's flashing it's the screen itself is not flashing it's just the uh, the the speed in which the camera um picks up on the screen and um yeah it's it's not actually flashing in in reality um so yes we also have the the widescreen satellite navigation this is a european system uh, so you have uh, full mapping for the whole of western europe um, and also includes all of your traffic reports and things like that as well so uh, again this is the, the top of the range system um, you have uh, inputs either via via voice which is probably one of the best systems that i've used you just literally shout out an address and it'll um it'll come straight up onto the screen um, you can put it in through the through, through the jog wheel just by uh, twisting and turning and, and pressing on the letters um, or well, this also features handwriting recognition, um, so you can literally just put an address straight into the main system. Um, I'll just show you here very quickly. That's that working there, so it's all done on the, um, on the handwriting. So that's the media and satellite navigation systems come through to the vehicle status uh, we can get historical vehicle servicing data on here as well as um, having a look at the requirements for upcoming services uh, we just go into the service history we can go through all this main system we can see exactly uh, where it's been um, so this is the, uh, the 06004 uh, would uh, correspond to a dealer number um, so it's been to the same dealership all the way through it's been serviced at 17,000 36,000 54,000 we can see it had the engine oil and the microfilter carried out uh, through back to the main system, we can see that the brake fluid service isn't in due until October of 2018. Uh, the next engine oil service is two years away in uh, February 2020. Uh, vehicle check also 2020. Rear brake pads have 32,000 miles worth of wear left and the front brake pads we've just had done uh, so they have been reset and uh, we now have 60,000 miles worth of wear on those, obviously depending on how you're, how you're driving. Um, Coming down to here, further specification, we have uh, dual zone climate control. This is separate separate uh, temperatures for driver and passenger. Um, and then we also have three stage heated seats uh, for the driver and passenger as well. Further on down, these are the buttons for your driving modes. 
again um, you have anything from eco pro mode um, which is obviously efficient driving comfort mode most of these don't really need explaining sport um, and then sport plus which is uh, which actually removes part of the traction control system as well at the same time uh, we also have front and rear parking sensors these uh, are audible as well as a display so it'll actually show you which parking sensor is being used at any one time um, just having a quick look through we have paddle shift gear shift we have cruise control we have all the voice controls, controls um, and audio controls here, uh, so volume up and down, uh, and your telephone answering button as well. Uh, paddle shift, automatic headlights, automatic windscreen wipers, uh, and we also have high beam assist on this car as well. Um, so when you uh, approach a car at night, uh, your headlights will automatically dip down, and um, when the car goes past, they'll, uh, they'll they'll reset back up to normal as well. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but quite a nice handy feature. And um, we also have power folding door mirrors as well. Uh, this can be programmed so that it works on the key when you lock the car, um, and then unlock when you get to it. Uh, part of the M Sport Plus package is the Harman Kardon speaker system, in which we can see that. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if we can help with any further information, then please don't hesitate to contact us through our website, which is influencecars.co.uk. Uh, we'd be happy to value a part exchange or organise a finance quotation for you. Uh, it's a really beautiful car, this. Uh, very, very well looked after. Like I said, just over 60,000 miles. Uh, all tyres in extremely good condition. Full service history. And uh, extremely well looked after and with a great specification. Like I said, any questions, please do let us know. And if not, uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks very much again for watching.